when you bring in a cycle, then you're fighting what the cycle is doing. If it right. by chance happens to not be syncing up with how you need it, which is where, you know, back, back to that spider example, I, I ended up using, I got a note today, like, Hey, ha- move this leg a little bit, whatever. And mm-hmm. I didn't want to fight the cycle I had made. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just used an override animation layer and I was like, I'm just going to reanimate this essentially for this section where the note mm-hmm. is and then just key the weight of um if i had animation layer here this little k button is a k, stands for key mm. and anything i mean i can just do it super quick anything that has it's not going to appear until you until you set a key on it um and you have to have that layer selected um sometimes it's a bit finicky when i'm displaying stuff so i had to deselect and reselect to see oh well i haven't set a key yet would be why um so let me just make a quick change just to demonstrate. So I had auto key on. So I threw the values wherever. And then I'll say, all right, I want to, I mean, the alternative is you could say, let me turn this off. I mean, there's, there's two different ways really, but in my case, I was like, it was actually a cycle change. So I did it for one, because it was for a cycle change. <clears throat> I just did this like one kind of cycle that I uh, uh, cycled through the thing. And I was like, all right, I want to cut this off like at the end of the shot over here. I don't want to have to bake this whole cycle because I don't even know if I'm going to keep the cycle. So I don't want to bake it. So I can't use, I can't zero this out because it's going to screw up the cycle because I can't set keys there. But what I can do is I can use the weight. And so I'll set a key here. And as soon as I do that, this purple weight pops up for every attribute. And even though it's on every attribute, it that single even and I only have it selected for one at um, mm-hmm. curve, it'll affect every weight attribute for every curve. Um, so you don't ha- I don't have to go through and like change this one, then change this one, mm-hmm. then change this okay. one. They're they're all connected. They're all the same thing. Um, and then I can just turn weight to zero, and so that way I can keep the cycle of, uh, you know, I haven't affected the the anim layer cycle. So when I, if I, if, and when I need to go make change, I'm like, Oh, easy. Like I can change the entire cycle. Boom. Done. Instead of, you know, having to go through oh, yeah. a million keys, mm-hmm. if I had to bake it out and then wanting to use the zero, uh, zero, everything, which would screw it up. That's like an instance where, um, using animation layer weights is, is very mm-hmm. helpful. 